Hey everybody, welcome to Jay Wick's Health. Today's topic of conversation, honey. Yes, honey from the bees. Honey's been long known to be prescribed by many doctors and mothers as well for ailing such things such as cold, sore throat, and the flu. And yes, it tastes a heck of a lot better than that store-bought medicine that you use. Now, for cold and flus, okay, sugars, such as honey, okay, have substances that coat and soothe mucous membranes. That's why a lot of times it's used by preferably moms, sometimes prescribed by doctors, if you have the cold or if you have the flu. Now, as we well know, honey comes from bees. Now, also it's been known that bee venom has been injected into patients, okay, to help such problems as multiple sclerosis and arthritis. As well, a teaspoon or two of honey mixed with some hot water can help break up mucus in patients with colds and flus. And also, as well, honey, relatively inexpensive, but one of the main benefits to it, it, it doesn't go bad. There's no expiration date. You know, when you buy medicine in the store, it's good for a while, but there is an expiration date on it. Sooner or later, if you don't use the medicine, it goes bad. That's not the case with honey. Also, as well, because of its heck antibacterial properties, okay, honey's been used for wounds and for burns. Speaking on a topic of honey, beeswax, as well, has been used for a long time. There's such things such as lip balm, cosmetics, and hand cream. Now, one tablespoon of honey okay, has about 64 calories, practically none whatsoever protein, but it doesn't have any fat. It has about 17 carbs per tablespoon, all right, but pretty much it's all sugar. Now, obviously, any type of injection from bee venom should be done by a trained professional since certain people are, unfortunately, allergic to be venom. All right. But it does have many good qualities to it, especially if you have if suffering from arthritis. Well, it's all time out for right now, but remember, next time you got cold, you got the flu, hey, don't run for some Tylenol, run for some honey. It's cheap, it won't go bad, and it tastes a heck of a lot better. I'm Jeff, thanks for watching J. Rick's Health. I'll see you again here next week.